Today, we're gonna be playing some Overwatch. Ah! But if I lose a game, I have to make bread. So let's hope I don't go around losing too many games, eh? Ooh, King's Road is one of the best maps for me. Wow, what a shitty thing no. to join into. I guess we're making some bread. First, I was kind of upset about it, because obviously, you know, gaming is fun and bread making can be a lot of work. But the more I thought about it, I realized that maybe this was for the best. Overwatch, as we all know, is not great for your mental health. And there's something therapeutic and special about kneading bread. Making something with your hands, making something of your own, putting your work into something productive instead of just mindlessly playing a game, getting angry, yelling at the enemy teams, and calling them racial slurs. Maybe making bread is what I've been needing this whole time. There's nothing quite like watching bread rise. It just puffs up so naturally and gently and it relaxes. Like you at the end of the day, after you've finished playing Overwatch, not while you're playing it, you're definitely not relaxing while you're playing it. I hope that Doomfist steps on a Lego. I hope that Anna jumps in front of a pickup truck. I hope that Tracer fucking dies. Fear these thoughts from your head, because with bread, you don't need any of them. Think only of bread and that soft, pillowy, delicious warmth that it brings to you. There's something magical about seeing your product right before it's going to the finish line. You know that you put your hard work into this and that you only got one shot to make it work. So it's exciting, it's exhilarating, but also scary. But I have confidence in this bread. I have confidence in the bread. The bread has confidence in me too. And I realize now that bread really is all I've been eating. I don't need Overwatch when I have bread. What do you mean we're only three minutes into the video? Oh, I guess I have to play Widow. Oh wow, that Hanzo just annihilated me. Oh my gosh, I, he just destroyed the entire team. Hmm. Nathan went bye-bye. Hey, I'm back. My mom brought me bubble tea. The game over already? No, you got kicked. I like her. I gotta make this basket. This is what my life depends on. If I don't, I'll die tomorrow. I will not play the game until I make the basket. No, it's because we have a Lucio and a Zen, which is not a good deal or not wrong. I'm playing my best character. I like throwing spears. Chucking spears. He said throwing. Calm down. Actually, not doing terrible as Tracer, which is interesting. Not gonna be open, bitch! No, 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 stay on the- I'm Farah! Oh, you are Farah. 
I assassinated their on it in spawn. I'm a horrible person. Oh my god, I'm annihilating them. I thought I had it all together! Oh. oh my goodness, I keep getting assassinated! Alright, I need to stop playing Tracer. I'm doing dog shit. I'm another character I'm bad at. Oh my god. Jacob, I think we should actually murder our Ana in real life. Wait. Oh my fucking god, I can't do anything because I don't get heals. Everything is so dependent on those, but when you only have one healer, and our Lucio's doing a really good job, but my god is it annoying. <laughs> why, why is Doom targeting you? What the fuck did you do to this guy? Um, I don't know, he really didn't like me though. Ah! Doom, Doom is on me again. Woman! Perish. I hate British women. Specifically. I didn't know you could get in here, Free, you bitch. It's a brrrr. Anna. Shut the fucking up, Bro. Every time I spawn in Doomfish just smells me. It didn't do anything. Bro, I'm not joking. Every the past like six times I spawned in, their Doomfish has found me immediately. Bro, just solo high noon to me. Are we that much of a problem? Help! You gotta stop him from moving it three meters. I think Mercy was a way better pick than Lucio. He should have done it sooner. Yeah, he should have done that there way sooner. Go. 